Uh, tough one, obviously tough, brutal first half. We couldn't make a shot, they couldn't miss. Um, some turnovers, I think, uh, early. Well, we let a little bit of their pressure. Our whole deal was to come out and set the tone and create doubt in their minds, and I think it went the other way. But we had a group that second half that really got after it, played the way we're supposed to on both ends. Even though we were a little small at times and they exposed us on the glass, I'll take that fight every damn time. Tyler, what can you guys take from that second half to kind of build on going forward? Um, I think just competing and not turning the ball over. And uh, we, played, we played good together as a team, you know, and it was a good, good battle in the second half. Wayne, are there some common factors in the slow starts of these first half these last couple weeks? I think so. I think um, not sticking to the offensive plan, kind of kind of getting off on our own, t- turning it over. Um, and, and when that happens, we lose the defensive focus. Um, we've done it. We've done it a lot. Um, and so we've got to find a group. We got to find a group here. Um, you know, albeit we're a little shorthanded, that we'll do that from the start, um, defensively and offensively. I mean, we've had enough games over the years here where if shots aren't going in, you keep yourself in it by defending. And, and unfortunately, this group right now, if, if if we're not on target or on page with what we're supposed to do offensively, we we kind of drop our focus and uh, intensity on the defensive end. You saw the second half, guys. Spread the court, we got the ball moving, we played for each other, we shared it, we didn't turn it over as much, and you saw the energy on the defense and then, uh, especially the last, whatever it was, 15 minutes. So that's that's something that uh, we can build off of. And if it's five, you know, seven, eight guys, and that's that's you know that's what we're going to have to deal with, and then we'll get some other guys going a little bit. Um, I was really impressed with the young guys, and, and I thought Glenn set the tone offensively. With I mean he. Multiple times could have got a shot off, and he was finding guys out on the perimeter. The shots weren't going in. I think that hurt too. We missed. They made that creates some doubt, but um, a lot of stuff that uh, we can continue to build off of. When you kind of hinted towards that second half defensive effort, what did you feel like was kind of clicking on that side of the of the floor when you first saw the turnover? It was intensity. It was focus and communication. You know, um, it was tough. I mean, we 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 thought we were going to have to play some zone. They came out and made some some shots when they hadn't been shooting it well. Um, we had to go man to man and then they hurt us at the rim. I just thought our fight in the second half, our, our attention to our rules, our, our give a you know what factor went up and, and then it carried over to the offensive end where we were sharing it, attacking, getting to the free throw line. So um, I think that's what kind of flipped it. Well, yeah, obviously you're, you're, you're build, trying to build some back up this season. The three freshmen and I had 50 points and about 10, 12, 14 rebounds combined. Do you feel like they kind of took a, a step forward, mm-hmm. given the team you were playing and, and the way they, they played, you know, for 40 minutes? Big point, yeah. And we said that in the locker room. We said we had some guys grow up tonight. We had some guys grow up, and um, they they um, they weren't they weren't afraid to jump in the fray. Um, and, and it was really neat to see that out of those guys. And then, how do you get your seniors going? They they, they did nothing. You know, we just uh, we, we, we got to just try to find a way to, to get get their confidence up. You know, I feel for Rod, a uh, couple quick cheap fouls, gets a third. Um, you know, and, and, and the whole thing tonight was if we were going to get those fouls, get them out of being active. And so we just got to stick with them, keep getting them to believe, keep getting them uh, keep getting them to fight, um, to really buy into. And we can't we can't we got great kids, but we can't have any individual agendas. It's got to be about the team. And the freshmen um, are, are personifying that, and we've got to get that to spread throughout. And I think I think it can. I think it can. I don't think it's too late. Tyler, the way the team Excuse came me, back. Maybe. <laughs> Coach, good to see you. Where's Waldo? Good to see you, buddy. <laughs> Tyler, well, uh, come back in the second half. I think you got within 10, uh, made, it, made it a game. Uh, is this something to build on for Oregon State? And you had your uh, high score game um, yeah, for sure. I think we showed, like Coach said, we, sh- we showed a lot of fight and we moved the ball well. And uh, so we just got to take that, take that to the next couple days. And uh, yeah. These two found out too how important that weight room is going to be this next offseason too. And they're not afraid of hard work, but uh, 
they grew up tonight, man. They, those are two of the better posts that we're going to face. Um, and I uh, love the fact that, you know, I know it didn't go our way, but these, these guys didn't back down and big time, big time, like you said, uh, they, they grew up. It's a great lesson for them. Michael, what did you see out of your team that you liked, uh, that you guys can, can use to, to try to, you know, get, get in the win call? I think especially like Tyler said, Coach Tinker, the coach team because of the grip we had in the second half. Um, I think if we continue to play like the second half and come up with energy, I think the ball movement will improve. We get subs in defense, we get rebounds, we get out, and we play better. But we keep, keep that going, we got to move games. Uh, Tyler, Coach just mentioned that matchup with the, the posts uh, down in the paint. Can you just kind of describe the physicality of going up against Paulo and Tubelas? Yeah, those, those are two really good posts. I mean, it's one of the best like I've seen or played, and yeah, they're, they're big guys. So, you know, we had to we had to fight a pretty hard in there. It was a good battle. We we battled physically. We missed a shot blocker. You know, the teams that played them tough down there last weekend had some pretty good length at the rim blocking shots. And um, you know, next time we play them, we'll be a little bit smarter with our body positioning um, to not give up some of those around the basket. But uh, you know. Uh, we're, we're, we're going we're to grow from this. I know it's another kind of loss, but uh, we knew this season was going to be about rebuilding and getting our, our deal back. And um, you, you know my thoughts about moral victories, but uh, guys showed some grit. We, we identified a group the second half that really did it our way. That's going to lead to good things. Thanks, man.